as a word uh, about Shake Shack. I like Shake Shack. Shake Shack's uh, a good option. Shake Shack is a solid burger. Again, I'm not going to I'm not going to stick my nose up at it. I'm not going to be like, hmm, no, no, no. I'm not going to have Shake Shack. I'll have Shake Shack. I'll get down with Shake Shack. Shake Shack's delicious. I like their crinkle fries. They're very unique. They're a good taste. They're a good flavor. They're a good vibe. If I had to choose, though, if I had options in front of me, and they're like, you got to pick one, it's five guys every time. I mean, it's just like, there's just no way around it. I've actually seen people salt their ketchup. Exactly. Those people exist, and they live in the Dakotas. They may not be there at the moment, but it's where they're from. No one's having a conversation here about, like, local burger spots. If you are a local burger spot, you are almost immediately better than a fast food joint. It's just like, just in general, because that takes a lot of balls. That takes a lot. If you're like, hey, I'm gonna open up a burger spot, I have to convince all of these people here that my burger is better than, you know, the Wendy's that they're gonna have or or the In-N-Out or the, you know, Five Guys, whatever. Then usually, mo more often than not, if you're a burger specific joint, you are fire. Like you're gonna be better than a fast food place just by default, just because it takes balls to open up a burger spot and expect to compete with McDonald's. Just out of pure like habit, like I'm not gonna roll through a burger spot if there's a, 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 a McDonald's here, if that burger spot's trash, like you're gonna close, you're gonna close. Local spots actually care about quality of product, 100%. And can I, can I say, can I say a, a fairly controversial thing here? Can I just say a, very, a fairly controversial, this is a hot take, this is a hot take. In general, in general, I think, I think fusion restaurants are ass. I don't think they're very good. I'm not, I don't just stop. I just knock it off. You know what I mean? I don't think they're, I don't think they're good. I would rather have really killer Mexican or really killer Chinese. I don't need a Mexican Chinese fusion. I, I like, I don't, I don't need, I don't need that. We can, we don't need to do this. Stop trying to be like hip. Or like, oh, I've never seen that before. A freaking a macaroni and cheese uh, Filipino restaurant. Like, knock it the hell off. Stop. What do you mean? This Mexican Chinese fusion? I had it in Vegas and it was more of a hassle. I was like, I was exhausted by the end of it. I'm like, wait, so what is like a Kung Pao burrito? Like, what am I looking at here? What is it? What is Because I like, I like Kung Pao chicken and I like burritos. I don't know if I'm going to like their baby. Yeah, but how weird of an option uh, that be? Uh, it's real. It's a real thing. I had a Japanese style burger in Vegas that were fire. Again, like that's fine. I'm not saying fusion is bad. I'm saying fusion restaurants have got to go. Like you can have one or two things on the menu that are like, hey, this is like our take on this. We think it's pretty good. There's no way you're nailing every single item in the menu. It's just not going to be a thing. And you're, I'm going to be exhausted. Oh, geez. Uh, all right. Let's see here. Oh boy, what is this? This is all fast food slash fast casual. What are our options here? Oh, there's a never had list. Let me just start off here, I think, real quick. Um, 100%. Jollibee, I've heard good things about from actually my Filipino friends and family, but uh, never had it. Penn Station, I'm just gonna get the never hads out of the way. I don't know what that is. Here we go. Let's start from the bottom up, shall we? Um, okay, F tier. Bang, easy, very easy. Uh, Roy Rogers, holy frick, what a nightmare. I can't tell you how many times I've gotten a Roy Rogers like burger or something or like a chicken sandwich. And you know that little hard ball that you sometimes get in meat products, that little hard, like what is it, bone? Is it, what is this? Too many times, Roy Rogers. Once is too many, to be perfectly honest. Ugh. Uh, I think we can go from there. Let's start just down the list. All American food is actually uh, A and W is 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 okay. I'm gonna say that's like a D. It's fine. Arby's. That's probably a C. It's not bad. Bojangles. Don't remember it being great. Think I went there once. Meh. Boston Market. Honestly, depending on what they have, kind of fire. Uh, depending on the season. 
It's it's like in the middle. It's like a B minus C plus. I'm gonna put that at a C for right now because depends on the season. Dude, their pot pies are nutty. If you like just like straight up just homey like uh like just just like American like your mom would make or something. Boston market absolutely hits at, at certain times. Absolutely hits. Yeah, no, it's good. Uh, all right, Burger King, tough. Carl's Jr. I'm actually more of a Hardee's, but this is the same thing, basically. Uh, uh, I actually enjoyed these quite a bit. It is garbage food. I'm going to put that at, like, a B. That's going to be a B. Checkers, only for the fries. It's going to make them a D. Fries at Checkers are dope. The cheese fries, those are good. Chick-fil-A. That's a B. That's a B for me, homie. Chipotle. <sighs> this is controversial. Now, hear me out. I like Chipotle a lot. I do. Something in their stuff occasionally. I'm not, I haven't narrowed down what the ingredient is. Depending, it'll give me a little bit of like a nausea thing. Their chips and guac, outstanding. Outstanding. Their guac is nuts. I freaking love Chipotle guac so much. I think it's the best guac you can find commercially, roughly. You know, like for like a big chain type thing. The guac is nuts. I'm going to give them a B. Denny's. Now, this is one of those, those flippers right here, right? You have a couple of a couple of margaritas. You're feeling some type of way. This can flip real quick. You're sober. You're like, I don't know. It's it's two o'clock in the morning. You just got off a of bender. B bender? Bender? I don't know. You're 24, 23, 24. This can shoot up to a B, possibly an A, real quick. Because of that, because of that, it's gonna get a D. Because on in in we're talking about just absolutely straight sober. You can add a, a tier to the list. I can't add a tier. How do you add a tier? Yeah, that's actually a good. That's a good, that's add a tier. How do you do that? Because I feel like we're kind of, we're getting clumped up here. And this is not accurate. Click the cogwheel. All right. All right. That's better. That's better. That's an A now. That just got upgraded. That's an A. Uh, Denny's, I'm going to make you a C now. Domino's Pizza. Okay. Look. Domino's Pizza got me through a lot of college. Domino's and Hardee's slash Carl's Jr. got me through a lot of freaking college. Domino's Pizza absolutely slaps. Domino's Pizza is crazy good. I'm going to give them an A. I'm going to give them an A. Because they hit at certain times. Eh. No, they're a B. They're a B. They're like a B plus. They're like a B plus plus. They're real close. They're real close to A. I think if they had more dynamic options, they might be an A. They're like a they're like a B plus. I'm going to put them right up there. They're really good. Uh, Garbage. I, I challenge you to find a... What's a better... What's a... Okay, you chat. You tell me. What's a better pizza joint than Domino's? That's like commercial. Don't talk about like a uh, sales and, and Papa Dino was down the street. Like everyone knows that. I'm talking about like a get out of here. The hut. What is this 1998? What the hell are you talking about? Pizza hut. Get the hell out of here. Oh, I'm going I'm to look something up for you guys right quick. I'm going to look something up for you guys right quick. I want to see this. I want to see. I want you to tell me that this looks appetizing. Because there's no effing way that looks good. What am I looking at here? This is like 60% crust. Bro, what? No. Like, just, I mean, just look at the amount of bread in here. That's basically three loaves of bread. Toppings aside, the toppings are disgusting. Get that out of here. The toppings aside, you can't tell me that looks good. And this is the worst combination. Get ready for this. This is Pizza Hut. In Ohio, this might as well be this might as well be rat poison. There's no shot. I'm having that. No, absolutely not. That's terrible. You're absolutely wrong. Moving along. Okay, DQ. It's mainly ice cream. They have some good items. Uh, mainly like one burger. That's all right. I'm gonna say that's like a that's like a C. That's like a C tier for me. Five guys. We all saw that coming. We all saw that coming. That's like an S tier. That's that's some of the best burgers you can find commercially. Commercially. S tier. Outstanding. Fantastic. You're not going to find a burger joint that's better than that commercially. Just the way it is. Sorry. Sorry. 
It's just the way it is. And I'll be honest with you. You know what I'm sad isn't on here? Oh, it is on here. All right, good. The only thing keeping Chick-fil-A from S tier? I'll be 100%. I'm going to keep it real with you. I'm going to keep it 100%. I know this is controversial. I'm going to keep it real. The only thing, only thing keeping Chick-fil-A from S tier, which is going to be weird, is their chicken sandwich. And I know that that's weird because it's not a bad chicken sandwich. I know. And they're, and they're closed on Sunday. That's also some nonsense. It's good, but you cannot tell me. You can not tell me that it's better than a Popeye's chicken sandwich. It's just not a thing. You can't get out of here. You can't tell me. And that's about the only thing. That's it. I'm not saying their chicken sandwich is bad, chat. It's a good, I'll, I'll eat a chicken, I'll eat a Chick-fil-A sandwich a day of the week. But if I had the choice, if they're like, hey, you can have this whole Chick-fil-A meal, but instead of the chicken sandwich, instead of the chicken sandwich, we're going to replace it with a Popeye's chicken sandwich. I'd be like, how much more do I have to pay? Sounds good. Sounds good. It's better. They should be, they're A tier just because of the day of the week. They're open less. You know what I, you know what you know the moment you know the you know the moment I want a, a Chick Fil A chicken sandwich the moment uh, Sunday afternoon. You never want Chick Fil A more than you do on a Sunday. If that isn't a lesson and you always want what you can't have, then I don't know what is. If that doesn't spell out for everyone in 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 America that you always want what you can't have, it's wanting Chick Fil A on a Sunday. I hop. They actually have one burrito that's really good. Uh, it's like a breakfast burrito. I think it's called like the the Western, I think, or something like that, or the Texan. It's pretty good. Other than that, it's about a C. Uh, it's okay. It's kind of a toss up between them and Denny's at any given time, but you know, it's 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 all it's all negligible. In and Out Burger. It's very good. It's very good. It's very good. In and Out Burger is good. They know what they're good at. It's good. It's good. Fries are trash. They're okay. A is very. They're very good. In and Out's a good. It's a good burger place. It's a good. It's a good. It's a good joint. I like burgers. In and Out Burger makes great burgers. Animal style is is Thousand Island glue. <laughs> in and Out is life. In and Out is trash. Look at this. Look at this. Get out of here. Stop it. Stop it right now. All you people that are just contrarian that say that say In and Out is trash. Shut, sit down. Stop it. The moment you tell me in and out is trash, your opinion, it doesn't make any sense. No, get the hell out of here. On a basic human survival level, just based off of just, just taste alone, you're going to tell me it's trash? You know what's trash? Trash is trash. And I'll tell you, I'll eat in and out burger over a freaking used band-aid any day of the week. Shut up. Stop it. It is overhyped. 100%. It's like way overhyped. It is. But it's good. They do a good job. It has hype for a reason. It is good. It's overhyped, but it has it has some hype around it for a reason. Get the hell out of here. You guys are just so you guys are just so aggressive. All right, take it easy. I think Moe's is really good. I like Moe's a lot. Moe's queso is freaking outstanding. Moe's is super good. Um Moses like a B plus could possibly be in the A category. It's good. McDonald's. Honestly, on a certain night, it hits right. It's probably a B. It's probably a B. It hits right at a certain time. It's a B. I think it's a so I think McDonald's is a solid B. Really solid. Fries, outstanding. Panera bread. Ever since I saw a roach there, it's kind of really turned me off. So Panera's getting a C. I saw a roach. This is a true story. I saw a roach. Crawling across the ground. Uh, and I get it. You know, I, I understand this response. But I saw a roach crawling across the ground when I was there waiting for my food. I said, excuse me. Uh, someone was behind the counter. I said, excuse me. Does she know there's a roach crawling across the ground? And she said to me. <laughs> and I quote, do you want your food for free? And I was like, no. I just want you to. Deal with the never mind. I'll take my food. Here you go. Maybe tell a manager. Like what? I don't know. Like tell someone with authority. Hey, we need like a, a pest control in here. If she was like, "What do you want me to do?" I would tell you the bad thing of Papa John's and the good thing of Papa John's. Papa John's, 
way too much crust. Like just an unnecessary amount of crust. Like it just, I'm not into it. You don't need that much crust. However, the good thing about Papa John's, the good thing, their garlic dipping sauce, great for crust. They scratched the guy's face off. Did they really? Oh, they did. Oh, you're freaking right. They did scratch his face off. That's hilarious. Uh, that's it. That being said, I'm not really going there. I'll probably pick any one of these over at Papa John's. Pizza Hut. Just absolutely not. All right, let's move right along. Popeyes. Killer chicken sandwich. Absolute God tier chicken sandwich from Popeyes. Even their chicken fingers are freaking unbelievable. Best chicken sandwich on the market right now, in my opinion. That's going to put it at a hot A. That chicken sandwich is doing all the heavy lifting at Popeyes. All the heavy lifting. Don't get me wrong. Love the chicken strips. Love the biscuits. Love the fries. Love everything there. That puts it like a B. That chicken sandwich absolutely skyrockets this thing to an A. No questions asked. Shake Shack. Hey. Hey, it's an A. It's really good. It's really good. It's not S tier. It's not, it's not S tier. It's good. It's good. Shake Shack is good. Shake Shack is a solid option. This is a place I will I will absolutely go to when I'm traveling out and about. These are places I will absolutely go. I think Sheets is fantastic. Compared to these places, Sheets is like a B, C. It's probably like a C. Like, I'll, I, I'm not going to go out of my way for Sheets. Sheets is good, but I'm not comparing. This is fast food. Like, it's a freaking gas station that happens to do food. Sonic. This is a tough one for me. I think Sonic is a solid B. Actually, it's not tough. That was the easiest one I've done all day. Sonic is a solid B. They have some great options. I mean, the cherry limeade is really good. Uh, the cherry limeade is really good. Their burgers are pretty good. Uh, it's really the cherry limeade is honestly, again, doing all the heavy lifting. Bring that to a B. Taco Bell. A. Taco Bell's A tier. I think Taco Bell is a really easy A option. You're sick, sick man. Okay. Bro. Chalupas are the best. Chalupas are God's gift. Waffle House. Another, another, depending on the state of inebriation, is all over the place here. S tier, when you're hammered, I mean, I mean, honestly, if there is like a freaking S plus tier, it's probably up here. It's probably outside of the graph. Sober, it's a B. We're going to leave it at a B. I'm sad you've never had El Pollo Taco. Me too. Me too. Me too. All right, here it is. I've heard, I've, here it is. Uh, guys, thanks for watching this video uh, about my tier list of different fast food slash fast casual. Uh, if you like my list, uh, be sure to hit the thumbs up button. If you didn't like it, sucks to be wrong. Uh, be sure to like and subscribe. Leave a comment down below. Let me know your S tier. What is your S tier restaurant, fast food joint? Let me know so I can go through the comments, tell you how wrong you are. Leave a comment. Thanks for watching.